Is it then your assertion that the laws res with respect to how Negroes are supposed to have equal opportunity and equal rights in this country are not meaningful or believed by whites? And secondly, what is then is your opinion and attitude toward the civil rights movement in general, and particularly uh, the Reverend Martin Luther King and his philosophy of nonviolent direct action? If uh, the white people really passed meaningful laws, it would not be necessary to pass any more laws. There are already enough laws on the law books to protect an American citizen. You only need uh, additional laws when you're dealing with someone who is not regarded as an American citizen. But whites are so hypocritical. They don't want to admit that they're a real citizen. If he was a real citizen, you'd need no more laws. You'd need no civil rights legislation. Uh, civil rights, is, uh, when you have civil rights, you have citizenship. It's automatic. White people don't need laws to protect their citizenship because they're citizens. But they, want, they, uh, they don't want to tell us we're not citizens. And at the same time, they don't want to pass laws that are meaningful enough to protect us as if we were citizens. And the Supreme Court desegregation decision is the best example I know. That's a law from the Supreme Court. Ten years have gone by. No, no desegregated schools. It hasn't been implemented beyond, I think, 9% in 10 years. So this just shows you the hypocrisy of the American white man. They talk out of both sides of their mouth. And uh, for this reason, we who are Muslims, that is, who believe in the religion of Islam, who believe in God, we don't believe that black people will ever get any laws, get any problem with laws being passed or uh, new persons being put in office, uh, white liberals being put in office. There is nothing that the white man will ever do to bring about uh, true, sincere uh, citizenship or civil rights recognition for black people in this country. Nothing will they ever do. They will always talk it, but they won't practice it. And uh, with the Supreme Court, if the NAACP can tell me that they want a desegregation decision for me uh, 10 years ago, but yet the schools haven't been desegregated, as I say, this is a victory with no victory. Uh, it's a victory that you can talk about, but it's a victory you can't show me. So if you represent the NAACP and you are telling me about this great victory you won for me, when I look at you, I have to uh, conclude that either you have been duped yourself or else you are trying to dupe me. And in most instance, instances where the civil rights struggle is involved, there is no civil rights leader can point to me one concrete gain, practical gain, that black people have made in the civil rights field in this country, not only during the past 10 years, but during the past 100 years. 